Hey guys, JH. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to the to the different practice tea. For the last couple of years we've had a practice tea that uh, only only concentrated on uh, on channel lock. Well, we're going to get back to the original format of, uh, of the JH practice team, that was to give tips on all types of golf swings. Now we can still incorporate a lot of the, the mechanics of channel lock in, in, uh, in traditional and conventional golf swings because I believe that they are good mechanics and they can benefit any golf swing. Now you'll probably see whenever I'm demonstrating any of the swings here that uh, the ball position will always be back a little bit and my shoulders will tend to be closed more than normal. And there'll be a little bit more rotation uh, in the golf swing. I won't have my feet down as much. But there'll still be you know, parts of channel lock in there. Okay, today, what I want to do is just talk about a, a, a basic swing uh, part that we should all have in any, any golf swing. And that is coming through the ball, we should always endeavour to get the handle or the grip of the club coming in and the club head moving out. We don't want the handle moving out and the club head back. So for people that haven't done that and have done more where the handle moves out, this is going to feel really strange. But the good thing about it is that it will give you some progression on your hands at impact, give you a bit more compression and will just give you a stronger hit on the ball. So the feeling is that the hands come in here like that. As a feeling, that's over exaggerated, but they'll be there um, at impact here. They'll be moving this way. And then they will continue on to rotate around in a circular uh, manner. What that does, guys, it forces the hands down in the hitting area. One of the really big problems with, with the club player is that the hands come up, stands the body up, and we can't release the golf club. But if the hands are forced down and, and, the, and, the, and the grip of the club in, the club head wants to go out and fire itself. It really does. It just wants to go out and fire itself. That's, that's just a byproduct of having the grip moving in and the hands pushing down. Now what you don't want to do in, 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 in applying that is to just let the shoulder roll around and let the body, the body get that lead side moving open too early. You want to resist that. The, the grip comes in but the shoulders stay you know, basically square to a little bit closed when you hit it. We don't want to be taking the handle in and taking the whole body with it. You'll feel that. And even a good ball striker will feel that. It feels like everything is rotating left. But the shoulders are not opening. Very strong wind here today, guys. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pulling the club this way, as a feeling, that way. It feels like that. But see how my shoulders are still square? That's what it'll feel like. It's not that. Hands up. You can hit into out, but as long as the hands, as long as the grip stays in. And there'll be a bit more rotation on this shot than you normally see in a JH golf swing. But the emphasis here, guys, is to get the hands or, or the grip moving this way, like that. You'll know when you do it because your hands will, your hands will finish low. 
after the shot. It's like a, I don't know, it's like, almost like you're, you're polishing a wooden table. The hands are low and going lower through the ball. They're not coming up high. Does the swing feel rounded? Yeah, you bet. Very rounded. To see, even conventional swing guys, I'm playing the ball back about centre. See how my hands are in here? They're still low. They're not high in the finish. Now I'm just hitting like three quarter shot to, to show you the action and suggest that that's what you should do in order to get the feeling of the shot. Don't, don't go trying to hit full shot straight away. <coughs> oh, excuse me guys. <coughs> that's hay fever. The grass here is, oh, they just, they put a mower over this yesterday and it was really, really high and that's still very deep but they've, they've disturbed all the seeds. I'm a bit hay seedy. So here, so watch how low my hands finish. I hit a couple of shots this way. Try and, try and keep the hands low. Very hard to get the handle going out to the ball if the hands are low through the shot. Very hard to do that. So, yeah. See how low the hands are? And you'll feel a bit of, you'll feel quite a lot of drag on the shot. Yeah. So, so the main, the main roof, the main tip here is to try and keep the hands low through the ball and finish with them low to get the feeling. You won't you won't get that amount of, of lowness in your hands um, with a full shot, clearly, because there's more momentum on the shot. The hands finish up here. But they're in. The grip the grip is in and the, the grip's in and the head's out. Grip's in, grip comes this way and the head goes that way. But when you, when you feel that the grip coming in, don't let the shoulder go there. You pull it in with the hands, but you don't pull it in with the shoulders. Alright, we'll hit a full shot. I see there's more rotation on that shot than, than I have with channel lock, clearly. And see my hands finish quite low. You know, they're certainly not, you're not above my shoulder line. This grass is crabgrass, guys, and it's just brutal. Handle in, club out. Try and get the legs Nice and uh, bent. See this guys, look. Hands are no higher than the shoulders. If, if, if the handle was coming through high, you finish like this. I've got it like this. Because the hands are low through the ball.
I'm just letting the body rotate. That's how I get more elongation on my arms through the ball. They're really strong shots, guys. Little golf swing, you don't need a big golf swing. And the feeling is, when you're hitting a good that you'll actually feel like you'll get your hand past your lead your lead uh, thigh as a feeling I don't do that but that's a feeling see that you'll always get You'll always get the feeling that the club is coming in like this. That. Not like, not a lot of throw over. They're just dead straight solid golf shots. I really hit that hard. Wow. Okay, with the rotation you get, probably get a little bit more distance. But I don't want to trade distance for accuracy. Okay, they're straight shots. But I always have a feeling when I'm rotating that I can hit the ball a little draggy or a little pulley. But that was really motoring, that one. Whoo! That's it's in here. That's as good as old J.H. can hit it. That's really long. Got six on here, guys. That's really long. See how I'm getting this feeling? That's because the hands are in, or getting that look. That's because the hands are in. They're not out. You get that feel look because you're getting that action through the ball. Now make sure you keep your right shoulder going down, or if you're a right-hander, keep the trail shoulder going down. You don't want that rotating too early. If that rotates too early, you're in, you're in bother. Now when I, when I rotate, when I get the right shoulder going down hard, I get a more clamp on the ball. I don't necessarily like that, but I do get more clamp on it. Because the action becomes steeper, clearly. Just hitting some shots, guys. I'll really load this one. Okay. 
step one this way to show you uh, the direction of the club. Club's over here. Stem over here guys. Low hands after the ball. See the hands finish over here. And they're pushing down, they're pushing down very hard. Okay, nice long backswing, Judge. Wow. I just hit a couple with the driver. Yes, yeah, so the message is low hands <clears throat> low hands and handle in through the ball so even with the driver I'm here guys sorry to walk out of frame but I must be a little, when I'm thinking rotation, I'm a bit more down angle with the driver and that's why it takes the tee out of the ground. Normally I don't take the tee out of the ground, but, but with rotation I get a little bit more down. That's low hands. That's very low hands. I'll just hit a couple this way. Might be able to see the low hands. <clears throat> Handle in. Just hit that one low so you could see it. Hit a little bit more to the right. Hands are here. Okay guys, it's very windy, but that's the message here, hands low, and it'll really pay dividends when you're hitting some wedge shots, handle in, club head out, really, really, you'll really get crisp hits on the shot. Okay, so the message is, handle in, club out, here, there. Don't take the shoulder with it. Okay guys, just the first tip of the new JH practice team.